Captain Pajama and the Great Bedtime Battle. In the cozy town of Sleepyville, there was a hero like no other. His name was Captain Pajama. He wasn't a regular hero in a cape or armor. Nope, he wore fuzzy, footy pajamas with dinosaurs on them and had the coziest superhero mask made of his favorite pillowcase. By day, Captain Pajama was just a kid named Max who loved cartoons and hated broccoli, but when bedtime came, Max transformed into the bravest hero ever, ready to defend the town from anything that tried to stop a good night's sleep. One night, something terrible happened. Max's little sister, Lucy, was refusing to go to bed. She was bouncing on the bed, running around in circles, and eating sugar cookies way past bedtime. The more she ran, the more hyper she became, and soon, she unleashed the monster of sleeplessness, a creature made entirely of giggles and tickles. Captain Pajama, help! Max's mom called from the living room, looking exhausted. Captain Pajama knew what to do. He grabbed his trusty blanket of power, a blanket so warm and snugly it could make even the most energetic kid sleepy. He leapt into action, flying down the hallway. The monster of sleeplessness was laughing uncontrollably as Lucy jumped from one couch cushion to another. Max, now Captain Pajama, zoomed in and wrapped her in the blanket of power. But Lucy was strong. She wriggled free and started spinning in circles, singing, I'm never going to bed, no sleep for me, I'll stay up forever, just you wait and see. Captain Pajama knew he needed to use his secret weapon. With a deep breath, he unleashed his super yawn, a yawn so big and contagious, everyone in the room would yawn along with him. Yay one. Captain Pajama began. Lucy paused. Her eyes got wide. No. Not the yawn, she cried, but it was too late. Max's mom yawned. The family dog yawned. Even the goldfish looked sleepy. And finally, Lucy yawned too. Her bouncing slowed down, her giggles softened, and before anyone knew it, she snuggled up in the blanket of power. Captain Pajama tucked her in, and within minutes, the monster of sleeplessness was defeated. Lucy was sound asleep, dreaming of flying dinosaurs and candy clouds. Max returned to his bed, his mission complete. As he crawled under his covers, he smiled, knowing that no bedtime battle was too tough for Captain Pajama. And just as Max drifted off to sleep, he heard his mom whisper from the doorway, Good night, my little hero. The end. Or is it?